Hello, welcome back. I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Reefs, where we teach you the art of reef making and faux floral designing. And that's what we're gonna be making in this video. We're gonna be making a spring arrangement using this cute little ceramic bunny. Isn't he cute? So he's just um, ceramic. Some, you can find um, things like this all over right now. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, um, Y'all give me some help, like where else? Probably Family Dollar, Dollar General. Do y'all have Family Dollar? Dollar General, um, Target, right? So you can find cute little containers like this that are open. Now my assistant was like, okay, that's where I put the jelly beans. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but now we're gonna make an arrangement. So um, you can fill yours with candy if you want, but I think I'm gonna fill mine with some soap flowers. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Um, let me make sure I can see everybody's comments here on Facebook and then also on um, our YouTube channel. Let's get that over here. Hi, Stevie from North Carolina. Hello. Okay. We've got Linda watching. Hello, everybody. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in here because I know a lot of you are going to ask. <clears throat> Just going to go ahead and get it ready. So we um, love decorating for Easter. Do you like decorating for Easter for your like kitchen table? Maybe you have a coffee table or maybe you have um, you know the Easter buffet we always put ours out on the kitchen island and everybody can just come and get their own plate so I do like to put a little something there too for flowers but you can put flowers I put flowers y'all know me I love flowers I put flowers all over <laughs> the house and so you can too so here is our um, table centerpiece or our arrangement or container that we're going to be using I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can zoom in specifically for that. Hey, Janet, I'm Las Vegas. Hello, Virginia in the house, welcome. All right, so I have my tulips over here and what I was doing was I was actually practicing for our spring arrangement masterclass that's happening at the end of this month. Um, if you wanna join us, I've pinned it to the bottom of the comment section here, but you can also go to uh, makespringarrangements.com makespringarrangements.com you have all the information there what you get what it costs all the things okay so if you're interested makespringarrangements.com now these are tulips I like when I'm looking for silk flowers y'all I look for flowers that have different stages so I like that these this tulip bush had some tulips that were already opened a little bit and then some that were closed a little bit so um, let's see I was like again I said I was practicing to for the arrangements class but then I thought let's um, turn on the camera so I pulled everything out and we're gonna just start like we were not thinking about it the one thing to think about when you're making your arrangements is like what shape do you want and I sat here for the longest time and I'm like, you know what would look cute in here is a roundy moundy, like, like a little mound, a little round shape design. That would look super cute. But I'm like, I'm taking it up a notch. Like I'm trying to think outside the box and flex my design skills. And so I'm like, let's try to do something different. So if you're willing and am, you know, game to let me um, just try different things here with you guys, I really would appreciate it. So show me just a little bit of grace while I practice this. I'm going to go ahead and put this first piece right here um, in the center. I think that looks good. I am going to give a little bit of bend. You know, if it's going in the wrong direction, I could always, you know, turn it and curve it in another direction. But I think I like that. We'll see about this foamy thing. I'm not sure about that yet. We've got that one established. So now what I want to do is I want to stair step down. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit. And I want this to have space. So every flower that I'm using, I want a little bit of space there, okay? 
So I think I'm going to move it down right here. So that means I'm going to go ahead and cut off <coughs> this foamy thing. Okay, so I'm going to put a little glue. I've already prepped the container. I put, I'm using desert foam in this container. You can use styrofoam, whichever you like to use. All right, so we've got one here. So we've got one here and one there. All right, so now I need to go down. We're making our way down to the foundation of it. All right, so one here, one here. We need one right about here. Let's see, is that going to be good? I think that's going to be good. So we're going to drop that down. And you can see that we've like just uh, stair-stepped our color down, uh, forming a line through using repetition. Isn't that fun? Practice does make perfect and a mess, yes. <laughs> Love decorating for Easter, says to Christy. Oh, me too, me too. All right, so we've got one here, and I'm going to do one on the opposite side, but we want it a little bit higher. I would say it needs to go a little bit higher. Maybe right here. That looks good, and I'm going to save a larger one for the top. Let me see how far I want to come down. Just looking at my eye. I'm going to trim this off a little bit, I think. Let's try it one more time. Lift it up a little bit higher. Okay, right there, so I think that looks good with the height. Let me give a little bit of a bend in that. I'm not sure I like this little foam thing. No, I don't like it. Let's see if we can remove it. Little, little bit of bend there. Okay, so now we've got another one. Let's go back to this side and bring it down. Let me look at this. Bring it over this way. I think it needs to go that way, but I don't want it to be straight up that way. So I'm going to just, I think, bend it. Or do I want to drop it down further? All right, I know what I need to do. Let's go ahead and add this one right here. It's on the same plane as this, so I'm going to drop it down further. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one down even further. Let's go ahead and cut that. I like it. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Let's get rid of the foam. I was smelling them because they look so real. <laughs> All right, do you see my thought process with this? Like I want color sort of popping around in my eye, but also bringing my eye down. Now from here, I think now that I got that established, I'm gonna work on getting a little greenery on here. So we've just got some artificial greens that I'm going to 
start filling in a little bit around the base of the flowers. Yeah, I put those leaves in the trash, <laughs> Angela, because they were, um, honestly, they were, they were foam and I don't like that foam stuff. I'm not a fan of the foam. I'm gonna, my goal is not to um, cover up our Easter Bunny face. I think that's good enough. All this needs to be more in an angle. There. Okay. Let's do one over on this side. And we'll do one over on this side. I feel like I'm going to go this way a little bit closer. Okay, this way. So I think I'm good with the green. Right here, we've got enough green. I'm, so far I can still see my bunny. What do you think so far, y'all? If you love videos like this, if you're like, you know, for me, I love watching, but I also like making. But if you would love to give us a thumbs up or a heart, if you appreciate our content and me sharing my God-given talents with you, I would love that. So make sure if you're on TikTok, I want you to make sure to follow us. Um, Grace, thanks for watching. These are artificial flowers, artificial flowers. Okay, so all I've really done with my green is help me to stay in the lines. So I was using that as my focal, or I mean my uh, like foundation, if you will. Now I've got three pale pink garden roses. It makes me want to smell these as well. Aren't these pretty? They look so real. All right, we want to go down low with this one. So there's a little hole. I'm thinking a hole right here. So I'm going to go right there with this one. It's not going in. Let me get a little bit further in. I feel like it needs to go slightly further in. a little a little separation from the bud that was there I've got another one with the bud see how it this one already came curved like this but if it yours doesn't this is what you're looking for a little curvature in your um, stem that's what's gonna make it look new I mean not new but real isn't that fun all right so what I want to do is put this one right here again we're gonna do the same stair step method but with these roses just like we did with our tulips you guys I would love to have you in our spring arrangement master class it's gonna be five days of making spring arrangements I'm sure you'll find something useful for your own home um, if because I like to put flower arrangements everywhere I can't always do the fresh. I mean, nothing beats fresh, let's be honest. Nothing really beats fresh, but you see how we have these two right here? I'm going to go back on the back side with this. Let's put that one over here, maybe. But it would be, you know, expensive to keep, not to mention to keep them alive.
Okay, let me refix this one. I don't want my two flowers touching. So let's get you over here. Let's get you over here. The benefits of silk flower, they bend <laughs> very easily. All right, so we've got a little bit of a rhythm going on in our arrangement. And we've got some color, right? I love that. <clears throat> Loretta's asking, should you always start in the middle and work your way around? Depends on the style that you're trying to um, accomplish, Loretta. So, you know, there are some, some designs that you start um, in the middle and then some, of the, the, some that you start in the back and some that you start on one side or the other. So it really just depends on the style that you're going for. All right, so we've got that. Now let's move on. I want to use... Um, Freesia, we've got some freesia here. I think I want this to be relatively short so we can divide this. We've got another greenery that we can use too from the leaves here. You guys love your questions. Keep asking. Thank you guys on TikTok. Very pretty, says Diana. Thank you so much. Okay, my goal here, let me know if you have this problem, like you want to overdo it. You, you just keep, don't know when to stop. Is that your, have y'all ever felt that way? Like, I just don't know when to stop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of these lavender freesia. Don't you love the color of lavender and pink together? It's so springy. I'm going to keep it pretty short here around his face, not going past that line, that implied line right there. Him looking like he got a, he needs a haircut so we can see his eyes. I might do one a little bit longer. Where's that? Do one a little longer. The wind here in South Carolina is crazy. So I don't know if there's a storm front moving through or what. It's also very yellow. Do y'all get yellow pollen? I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over here. We've got a little small one and a fat one. Let's do the, let's do the larger impact one right here. Push that down just a little bit more. Let's do it a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm trying to have various heights. That's my goal. What do you think? You like the lavender? Angela says she's an overdoer. She's an overachiever when she comes to her or silk flower arrangements. I am Angie. I'm live right now. I didn't see questions. Um, yeah, I make faux flower arrangements only, you guys. If, if that's what you're asking for sure, only silk flowers for me. All right, now um, I like it. I like, I like the florals, right? So what am I going to do now? I feel like it needs like t a little more green to fill in, but um, maybe a different color green. So we've got some uh, maidenhair fern, and I also have... Um, this Nandina I thought would be really pretty because it's just a different texture, but I've got to be careful. 
that we don't go too large, too, too wide outside of our base. I want to keep this small. And you know what else might look pretty in here? This bonsai might look pretty because it's a different, it's the same green though, but it's a little woodsy, which reminds me of spring as well. So I'm going to put that over here. I might put that in. Okay, where are we going to go with this? This is kind of large. I'm just going to divide this up. Y'all know why I use multiple greens. If you're in the Wreath of the Month Club, you could answer. I'm sure you know why. Why we do multiple greens. Hi, Chris Newbie. Welcome. some more <clears throat> those tulips do look real and they also smell they smell real I was completely shocked I opened the box from the from the florist which is the you know the vendor and man they smelled like they had a little sweet smell to it of course I was carrying it around the office hey do you smell that do you smell that Hey, Michelle, how are you? Okay, let's do, let's get a little, I'm trying to decide if I want this green high or if I want the maiden here. I kind of like that one. So this is a little longer piece. Now what we're going to do is put a little green behind our florals. a little height let's do it in the middle actually because we want this to be two-sided that's cute all right we need another little piece of greenery over here actually I'm gonna keep this one I'm gonna use this little short piece that I've cut off of the original stem don't put too much glue on or it's you're going to see some puddling and your stems don't want to go in if there's too much of that. Okay, let's get some more of these. In our Silk Flower Arrangement Masterclass, we're going to be doing two um arrangements on monday it starts the 27th we're going to do two on monday we're going to do two a day actually on all all day so we're going to do two on monday which are going to be the round classic round style and then we're also going to do two on tuesday they're going to be the ace uh, sorry symmetrical style and then we're going to do um, two on Wednesday. The Wednesday ones are going to be garden, window box, and then the long, a long and low arrangement. We need long and low for our longer tables, rectangle tables. This one might be a little large, but let me, I think it's okay. A little bit longer but that's all right I think I like it and Thursday we're gonna do an arrangement on a wreath and another rounds we're also going to do hand tied bouquet drop-in trying to 
help any of you on Etsy. If you like to put silk flowers in your Etsy stop shop, that's a big one right there. Just those drop-ins. <clears throat> and then we're also going to do a modified crescent. which is my favorite style. That's what all the florists seem to be making right now. Well, not all of them. Okay, so do you see how that greenery helps it to fill out? This is where I'm like, okay, Joy, don't be doing too much. But I love that um, the, if you feel like it's too, too much, also I'm gonna take out maybe one of these rose leaves there. We could put that on the side later. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, let's do a little bit of a filler. <clears throat> we have two options. We might do both. I love the yellow. Don't you love this yellow? It's not like a bright, um, sharpie, what do you call it, a highlighter yellow. It's more of a butter yellow which pulls in very nicely with the center of our tulips that are open and also the yellow in our freesia. The lavender freesia has a little yellow center. So when you're looking at your florals, you wanna look at all colors, the, t the, the base as well as the tip of the petals. Um, so looking at everything all around will help you determine what colors uh, to use. Uh, is there a coupon code for the masterclass? No, there isn't, but if you are in Wreath of the Month Club, we have it discounted for you. So Wreath of the Month Club members get it at a discount. So make sure you buy it through your member portal area. But it's on sale right now for $77 for this um, right now, okay? So just if you're interested in joining us, we'd love to have you. Thanks for your question. No, the, the florals are artificial. Okay, so now what do we wanna do? The filler flowers. So I like the yellow, why I wanna use the yellow, like I said, but also I feel like it needs a little bit of white to help bring the white of the container up slightly. Um, so I might fill in a little bit with that, but let's go ahead and take um, off some of these, whatever these are. Reminds me of honeysuckle vine. Do y'all know what I mean? Y'all have honeysuckle? It grows wild here in the south. Just gonna put it there for now. Let's see, it feels like it's too long. So let's put it over here. It definitely looks better in the back, but we're gonna weed out some of these flowers because they're gonna crowd the base. We don't see them anyway. But in the arrangement class, what we'll do is we'll teach you from start to finish, from beginner to advance, and start to sell is what I'm saying, because we're going to have some selling tips for those who are also selling their arrangements like we do. Just trying to spread out the flower love here. There we go. Yay. Just a little touch, a little touch. Now I'm gonna bring some of that yellow down. Let's do one right through here. Watching from Ireland, welcome Teresa.
Okay, so we've got that one. I'm going to go down this way over on this side. And this is where it feels like a game of operation. I'm touching every leaf <laughs> with the glue, Makes, trying to get it down into the base. Let's push it down slightly. Get that glue off once it dries we're going to move towards i guess that this is this one side is i'll say the front but i'm trying to make it look pretty all the way around because if this is on a table depends on where you're going to put your design so if this is on like a table in the foyer right when you walk in the home you might not need to have it pretty on both sides but if you're going to put it on a table or an island you do because everybody's going to see it i like that let's get a little bit thin okay now we're going to bring out over some yellow this way so some of the um i think we're going to have about eight kits in the arrangements class so you'll have an option to purchase a kit to duplicate the same arrangement we'll make. Um, but, but I want to teach you how to make arrangements without kits. Same thing with wreath making. Sometimes we offer a kit and sometimes we don't. Let's go ahead and... What is everybody's plans for the weekend? I think I'm working. One thing I got to do is get my taxes together. Okay, that's too far out. That's never fun. Irma, I can't wait to work with you in the, ra the arrangements class. That's going to be so much fun. We already have t training in the portal, so as soon as you if you join today, you're already starting to learn, and you'll be all caught up by the time we go live with the um, class. We're going to have a live piece and a re pre-recorded piece. You'll also have access to it forever, so if you can't get to it that week, you can always go back and refer back to it. All right, where is the phone? All right, maybe one little piece here, and then I think I'm done with the yellow. I'm trying to decide if I want the white. Seems to be down there. So I just spread the yellow around. Oh yes, that's my floral stash. <laughs> that's just actually part of it. I have a whole nother one across the room for me. <clears throat> Welcome Claudia to the success circle. I love it that you're there. All right, so now from here, this is where I'm gonna decide if I wanna do the white. I feel like it needs a little bit, a little bit of white. So let me just test out some of these wax flowers. Um, I just don't want a bunch of that. Just, I just want a slight, a slight amount. So maybe put you on here and here. Love the, love it. It's helping to bring some of that white. to find up through the arrangement because it's as you learn in our um, arrangements master class make sure to incorporate your container into your design for that harmonious look
The other thing included in our master class is a list of host, uh, suppliers. We do wholesale and retail for containers as well as our silk flowers that look real. So we'll cover that in the course as well. I, all I did was go around the base because I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep the white and I like the white, what do you think? Now let's do a little bit of white up here at the top. <clears throat> you guys on uh, TikTok, thanks for joining us. Give us a heart if you are um, enjoying it. All right, here's a little piece and here's a little piece. Now let's see if we can get a little white up higher. I like that, but let me move this. I added the one on the top, but now it's too close to the one on the bottom. It's too much of a white concentration, and I'm just going to move it over. Okay. I like it. All right, there's a, there's a couple of holes. I actually think I'm done with the flowers, but there are a couple of holes, and what I'm gonna do is fill in. We've got leftover leaves. Here's a good one. So we've got these leftover leaves right here. Let's go ahead and use this. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this rose leaf. I'm gonna stick that in right there on the tushy. I want another like different color green. I didn't bring any over. This one's airy. It's a little lighter. I don't think I'm gonna put it though. I'm using this green right now just to fill in the holes. And if you think that there's too much green in the center, like there's a lot of leaf action going on in there. I'm just gonna cut some of that out. I think that looks better. Let's do one more. Okay. I'm gonna do another little piece. We didn't do, we didn't do our maiden hair fern. This is what I was looking for though. Let's get a little length on this.
trying not to cover up my little bunny ears. I think we're done. I don't think I need another fern. This is a very airy. I love my, I love fern like this because of the airiness of it. <coughs> Yes, Deanna, we definitely will put everything that we've, when we make the arrangement in the master class, we'll include all of that information. Okay, so let's see, we're going to go right here with this one. Let's just do a little bit of a bend. I like it. Okay, we'll do one over here. And then where do we want this? Okay, we got one more piece. I'm gonna put majority of it, I think right through here. The masterclass, oh, that's a great question, is exclusively online. So no matter where you're watching, you can watch it in your PJs. It's all virtual. I think I'm going to keep, didn't want to get another one of these, but I'm going to go and put some of this on this side. We got one here. Definitely feels like there's a little bit of a hole right through here. I think that's it. Again, you could do a round version <clears throat> on this container style, but I just was trying to do something a little more, a little more. How about that? Just a little more. And make sure that you pull out because, you know, as you put stuff in, your hands are going to be a little mash. They're going to mash your flowers. And you just want to make sure that all of them are seen. And then I, the last thing I do is I step back and I just look at the overall shape and see if there is um, somewhere that needs to be, like maybe it didn't get round all the way over here. So let's see, maybe a little yellow right through here so I could see a foam and there's yellow there already and that's it any questions do y'all have any questions do y'all like this idea? Let me see in here so you can see. I should have moved the stuff behind me so you, that this way you could see it a little bit better. So we have the, here's the, the front of our bunny head moving around to the side, to the tushy. I think it looks pretty all the way around. I think this is going to look super cute on my buffet for Easter. 
It looks fresh. I love quality silk flowers that look fresh. <clears throat> Any questions? It's, it's gorgeous, says Janet. Superb, says Kelly. Um, yes, round definitely would work, but I was trying not to do round if you just didn't hear in the beginning of the video. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Audie. <clears throat> All right, you guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful um, rest of your day, and I hope you have a great weekend. And I hope you join us in our spring arrangement masterclass so that you can learn the art of spring silk flowers. Um, I hope that, um, you know, let me know if you have any questions, comment below, send me a direct message. But if you go to the website um, that's, I just wrote it, I just reserved the domain today, makespringarrangements.com. Go to spring, makespringarrangements.com, makespringarrangements.com to learn more information of, of all the things that we're going to include and it'll, I'll spend five days working with you to help you and um, you know learn the art of silk flower silk flower floristry silk floristry faux flowers I'm calling myself the fake florist how about that the fake florist <laughs> so I hope you join us um, make make spring arrangements.com and then I will see y'all next week let me know also below if there's anything that you want me to teach you uh, through the month of March, okay?